Hello, hello. I know you guys were thinking it was Beyonce. No, it's not Beyonce. <laughs> it's not Beyonce. It's Adeze. Adeze from Adeze Space, okay? <laughs> Hi guys, how are you guys doing? So today we're going to be doing a little bit of... Let me not even call this one a chat. This is not a chat. This is a shade throwing session, okay? This is a sub-distributing session. <laughs> In this video, we're going to be throwing shade, distributing subs, spilling the tea about some things that people do that is basically them helping the devil to do the devil's work. You know the devil? On earth, he's kind of limited because he doesn't have a physical body. So... He enters people <laughs> and uses them to do his work, okay? I don't even know what to title this video. Uh, maybe 10 ways to know that you are a witch or 10 ways you might be practicing witchcraft or 10 ways to know that you are a hater. Anyway, let me just start. You understand better, okay? Let's go. So, I've actually had this video drafted for a very long time. I was supposed to film it you know, some time ago, but I realized that the timing was kind of off in the sense that if I had filmed this when I wanted to film it, it would be like I was adding to what was happening in the YouTube space. I don't go much into it. I don't want anybody to come and start feeling like I'm trying to shade anybody or whatever. So that's why I didn't do this video. But yesterday night, yesterday afternoon actually, I saw something on Instagram that triggered me. It triggered me. And I said, no, I must make this video, okay? It was about someone who stole another person's pictures. Um, a nail artist, somebody stole her pictures and was using it on her own page, okay? So this nail artist went and politely told the person who stole her pictures, please kindly put down my pictures from your page. It's my property. And then the person who, you know, stole the pictures, the thief in this case, actually went on her own main page where she had like a hundred and something, hundred and six something thousand um, followers, went on her main page and started telling people that they should, she's doing a giveaway. And the giveaway is go to this person, this nail text, um, this nail person's page and go and report her page and tag her a scammer. Go to her, her comment, comment section and say that she's a scammer and also report her page. Like, can you imagine? As if that was not enough, when, you know, the whole thing blew up and everybody now understood what was going on, this thief came out and did a video where she was saying that that lady is very wicked, that why did the lady say she should take down her pictures, why did the lady report her page because of her pictures, that uh, this, this guy is big enough for everybody to grow. This is so, I was just like, like, excuse me. <laughs> Anyway, before I get to heated up, let me just calm down. Okay, let me calm down. <laughs> but this whole incident reminded me of, you know, one of the points that I drafted for my video months ago. Okay, and that point is one of the ways that you can know, you can tell if you are becoming a witch, if you are quarter to fly at night, if you are becoming a hater, if you are becoming, you know, the devil's uh, 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 tool or the devil's handwork or the devil's handmaid. If you cook up stories about somebody just because you don't like the person and you want other people to hate the person as well, which is basically exactly what this new tech lady did yesterday. Um, not the new tech, the, I don't know who she is, whatever she is, the, the thief anyway. What she did yesterday was she tried to cook up stories about this nail tech who she actually stole from just because she wanted everybody to hate her. Like, for why? Okay, and even in my points, and I have my points on my phone here, one of the things I even said under this point is that some even go as far as try to spoil the other person's source of livelihood. Like, as if I knew, like, you guys, she went as far as trying to spoil this person's livelihood just because she didn't like her, just because the person reported her page or because the person told her to take down her pictures. Like... How evil can you be? And you know what even pains me the most about all this rubbish? A lot of people actually sympathize with the thief. With the thief. A lot of people actually sympathize with the thief. And it happens, I've seen it in so many um, cases, without going into too much details. I've seen so many cases where people come online and say all sorts of rubbish, but because you don't know the backstory, because you don't know the backstory, because somebody comes and cries on the camera, because someone comes and, you know, uh, cries wolf first, because somebody first to report, you know, first to call police, you know, you know, everybody starts sympathizing with the person. You know, people start cooking up stories, start faking things, start faking evidence, start faking, um, what do I call it? Receipts. Yeah, thank you. People actually fake receipts or tweak receipts just to favor what they are saying. And then other people will go there and be like, oh my God, oh my, I can't believe this happened to you. Oh, so sorry. And then these people who are trying to, you know, sympathize with the person who is actually wrong, now go and start bashing the other person, start, you know, 
exactly what happened yesterday. Many people went to the other person's speech and were calling her a scammer, calling her a thief, calling her a this. And I was just like, whoa, what's wrong with people? Like, why can't you sit down and think for yourself? Yes, we content creators, you guys see us as people who, um, I don't know, some people will see us as, I don't know, a diff, I don't know, but I, yeah, like people see us differently somehow. One thing people have to realize that, that a lot of content creators, a lot of people you see on Instagram, on the internet, are normal human beings. The same way normal human beings can be trash in real life is the same way your favorite uh, uh, creator, your favorite Instagram influencer, your favorite Instagram buddy can be trash too, okay? <laughs> like, just try and, and, and be comfortable with the fact that human beings are human beings no matter what they do for a living or no matter what they do on the internet, okay? Just because you made an emotional video, everybody will now go there and be like, oh my god, I'm so sorry this happened to you, <laughs> and then go and bash that person. Meanwhile, if you know what happens behind the scenes, you guys, I'm saying this as someone who has been both behind and in front. If you know what happens behind the scenes, you're, you're going to be mind blown about how manipulated you have been or people have been on the internet, you are going to be mind blown, okay? Anyway, I'm not taking too much time talking about this topic. Let's move on to the next one. The next point, and this one I see happen on the internet as well is people applaud women who are rude who are uncouth who are mannerless who are you know ill behaved people applaud them as yes she's real she's uh, you know she's a real one she doesn't fake anything you know she doesn't keep anything in her mind whatever she wants to say she goes ahead and says it so she's a real one then the other person who is calm who is quiet or who doesn't you know like to involve themselves in in, in all those kind of um bruhaha the person who is just trying to live a good life okay trying hard to live a good life in this world that's full of evil then people tag that person as she's a fake, she's a pretender, you know, eh, she's not, she's not showing her real self, she's not this, she's not, I'm just like, <sighs> that one pains me a lot, maybe because I fall towards, I fall more on category of people who are just trying to live a good life in this, in this earth that's full of evil, okay, people who are trying to make heaven by all means are one of those people, people who are trying to make heaven, people tend to judge us and see us as, oh, she's fake, she's not saying her mind, she's not being real, just because somebody comes out and talks anyhow, or talks rashly, you know, does all kinds of nonsense, it doesn't mean that the other person is fake, it just means that this person is rash and that person is calm, that's, what, that's just what it means, okay, I see people applaud people who me i don't even talk about big brother because if i talk about big brother that would be opening the kind of worms that i've tried to you know move it move on from okay but i've seen it happen on big brother so many times it is the rudest people that people say oh my gosh she's so real she's so real i remember i won't call the person's name one of these big brother contestants okay when she was on big brother she was very very mannerless very uncouth very rude very she was just a a pain in everybody's ass okay and then when you were doing their reunion show, she had rebranded, she had now started becoming calm, watching her words, being polite, you know, being nice. She had rebranded and everybody was like, oh, fine. What shocks me the most is that her fans who were applauding her before for being rude and uncouth and being, you know, very, very nasty to people, the same fans who applauded her for that and who said, oh, I stand her because she's this, because she's that the same fans now came and we are praising her that oh my god she has changed she's now calm she's now quiet she's now you know she's now respectful that oh my god she has really worked on herself and i'm just like oh my god so that means you knew that what she was doing before was bad oh you like the new her but you also liked the old her too so can you please tell us what the problem is like <laughs> where do you stand you know anyway i don't know if i'm explaining these points very well but all i'm trying to say is that just because somebody is calm is quiet doesn't like to talk anyhow doesn't like to be rude tries to be polite tries to be nice it doesn't mean that the person is not real it means that the person is just really trying to be normal to be okay okay some of us we are raised in a particular way that we don't even know how to deviate i'm the kind of person that i don't know how to insult people i don't know how not like i don't know how trust me <laughs> don't <laughs> don't mistake the two i know how to insult people in a classy way okay i don't know how to get down in the dirt and play with pigs i'm not that kind of person so just because i don't want to get down in the dirt and play with pigs it doesn't mean that i'm not a real one it, or it doesn't mean that people like me are not real it just means that we are we decide to choose the the high road <laughs> we decide to choose the high high road the highway to heaven is what we decided to choose okay now the next one is you encourage or you advise people to do things that you know that you will not do Things that you know that this thing is bad, it's clearly bad, it's not, it's actually not a, a good thing to do, but because 
you I don't know you want to live vicariously through somebody or you want you know someone else to to you know do your work which is basically the devil's work okay you want someone else to do your work you encourage them to come out and disgrace themselves just because you can't do it yourself you don't have the liver to do it yourself so when they come out and disgrace themselves you are there applauding them you are there you know encouraging them to keep going instead of you to pull them back and to tell them you know what this thing you're doing is not going to it's not a good thing okay like just forget about it you know and i don't go into details anyway but i'm just saying i see the lot happen everywhere on tv on the internet everywhere i see actually women i don't know women women do this a lot women don't like to call out other women who are doing things that are obviously wrong. I'm not talking about things that are just a matter of choice. I'm talking about things that are obviously wrong. You don't want to call another woman for doing it. You're in, you're saying, oh, she's she's empowered. She's liberated. You know, she's she's in touch with her femininity or her sexuality. She's this, she's that. But you know, you you can never do it. You know, in your heart of hearts, that if they call you now and say, do this thing that you're encouraging this person to do, you're applauding the person for doing do it you know you can never do it. That means there's something wrong. There's something wrong. You know, one time I even said it that on social media. Some fans are like people who they see their brother dancing naked in the market rather than cover their brother's nakedness and carry their brother into the house. They go and start applauding the brother. Hey, dance very well. They start, they start playing music for brother to dance very well in the market, okay? Or their sister. That is how. So, in fact, it happens most times with, with women. So, it's their sister. A lot of fans applaud women to do things that they cannot do, but and things that they know is embarrassing, they know it's bad, they know it's listen. They go and applaud them and yes, keep dancing, keep dancing, continue, 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 you know. And then when if for some reason somebody from nowhere comes and covers the nakedness of that of that their sister, they're not like, ah, thank you, oh, thank you. You know, I saw when she was dancing, oh, you know, but you know, I didn't just know how to tell it to her so that she won't be offended. I'm just like, something is wrong with you. Then the next point, <laughs> this one, eh, a lot of people are on this table. In fact, at some point. I think I was kind of on this table, but I decided to bring myself back and bring myself out of it. Like I consciously made a conscious effort to bring myself out of it, okay? And that is following somebody on social media that you don't like, you don't appreciate the person, you don't like their content, you don't like their personality, they annoy you, but no, you're still following them because you just want to be knowing what's happening in their lives. Let me tell you what you are, okay? Let me, let me tell you what you are, come closer you are what they call a monitoring spirit thank you <laughs> thank you for listening you are what they call a monitoring spirit okay now why i said i was on this table is i wasn't even doing it because i've been monitoring spirit or whatever but i noticed that i'm following some people that maybe i follow them for one reason or the other maybe i liked an outfit they were wearing or i liked something they posted or i like them or i've met them in real life or something i'm just following them for one reason or the other then after a while it's called i don't really like this person i don't like what they post i don't like what they say i don't like what they stand for i don't like how they behave in whether real life or offline or whatever i just don't like this person for whatever reason or i've stopped liking this person for whatever reason but i feel somehow i'm following them on social media because i was already following them before if i unfollow them now they notice i've followed them it's going to be somehow so i keep following them when their posts come i'm just like oh, what is all this i skip their posts immediately or you know i try to mute them and stuff like that one day i had to ask myself mm -hmm. did they put gun on your head that you must following this person will anybody come and flog in your house that oh if you're if you're not following this person oh, you have to take uh, 100 strokes of cane no it, it doesn't happen like that so i decided and i consciously decided that if anybody pops up on my screen youtube instagram facebook twitter and i don't like the person i am going to click on follow on subscribe delete you know remove from recommended whatever i'm going to just detach myself from that person okay and it's what I, I actually advise a lot of people to do but many people for some reason don't do don't do it if you go to so many celebrities their pages you see people who are following them and still hate them i'm just like why why are you doing that to yourself? Like, is it, as is it because you were sent? Were you sent by the devil to just come and torment this person? Or come and be monitoring this person's life, you know? If you don't like somebody, why are you following them? Why? Can somebody, somebody please explain? If you do not like me, why are you watching my videos, okay? Hi! You guys, it's, it's, it's very good to be a pregnant woman, Sha. Nobody can come and fight with me because you can't be fighting with a pregnant woman. How dare you? How dare you fight with a pregnant woman? <laughs> so the next way to know if maybe you know you belong to a coven <laughs> is if a woman posts happy pictures with her, her husband, her kids, you know, she posts happy pictures about being married, posts things about being married, happily married and stuff like that. And you're like, 
you don't even know what's happening in her life for real. Like some all of these women, most of them are just pretenders. Most of them just come online and come and say things in real life. The husband is beating now. In real life, the husband is doing that one to her. She will not come here and become and be forming like she's happy. <laughs> she's not really happy. She's just did this. My dear sister, if you're like that, just just put your hand on your head and tell God to to, to forgive you, okay? Ask God for forgiveness and go for deliverance afterwards or whatever, whichever comes first. <laughs> whichever can come first, go and do it, okay? Because how can you honestly open your mouth and say that a woman posting nice pictures or happy pictures on the internet is lying? But when somebody comes and posts pictures about, you know, husband beating her or husband dealing with her or, you know, how husband treating her, you're like, oh my God, she's a strong woman. You are putting her for coming out to speak. You are saying, yes, this is, how, this is what happens in, in, in a lot of marriages. Thank you for coming out to speak. Many women don't have the mouth to come and speak. This one, that one, that one, that one. But when, when women who are happy... Come and speak, you say, I beg, why, I, let us hear what. Why are you disturbing us with all your happy pictures? This one, I'm just like, something is wrong somewhere, okay? The next one is that you want people to experience problems. You want people to have hardships. You want people to, you want things to go wrong in people's lives just because you feel like they don't deserve their success. You feel like they don't deserve the success they have, whatever progress they are making in whatever field, in whatever, especially for those people who are in showbiz, who are out there, you see them and you feel like they don't deserve their success. So you secretly, some people secretly and openly wish that they lose their whatever, you know, whatever success they've gained, they lose their platforms, they lose their, you know, whatever it is, you secretly wish bad for them just because you feel they don't deserve it. Let me tell you something. Let me, let me, let me school you on something called the grace of God, okay? <laughs> you see what I like about God there? Eh? God does not need your permission to bless anybody. He does not need your approval to bless anybody. He does not need your satisfaction to bless anybody, okay? And I'm saying this in the broadest terms possible. Just because you see somebody like, let me just say, who on the internet now? And I'm going to use myself, someone that annoys the hell out of me. <laughs> let me see, someone that annoys the hell out of me. I'm not someone, I don't, I don't, that I don't like, but I'm not a hater. I don't hate them, like, I don't, I don't care, like... I don't follow them. I don't comment on things that concern them. I'm ju I just don't care. Like, and if they do something that I like, I can applaud them for it. If they do something I don't like, I'm just like, oh, whatever. Anyway, so let me just for an example. Someone like, who do I use? Who do I use? Okay, someone like Bobrisky, for instance. Okay, Bobrisky. Yeah, let me use Bobrisky. I think Bobrisky is kind of, yeah, let me use Bobrisky. Anyway, so you see someone like Bob Brisky and I'm like, how dare he be cross-dressing? How dare he be feeling like this? How dare he this, this, this? Then when you now hear that he has been arrested, they're like, good! You are happy that he has been arrested. You are secretly wishing that he'll be arrested and locked away and the keys will be thrown away. But guess what? He's going to be released. He's going to come back on the internet. He's going to come and pepper you. <laughs> And the guy knows how to pepper. That's what I like about him. He's still going to come out and he's still going to pepper you, okay? irrespective of however you think he gets his wealth or however you think, you know, he's getting his success from, it is none of your freaking business, okay? So it is either you like him or you don't. If you like him, follow him, uh, patronize him, support him, that's your business. If you don't like him, leave him the freak alone. You don't have to be there. You don't have to be criticizing his every move. You don't have to be secretly wishing him bad just because you don't like, you don't just like the way he got his success, okay? And this also goes for some other... You know, YouTubers, content creators of any sort, okay? Actors, actresses, whatever you feel about the person, it is none of your business, okay? And see, let me tell you something. No matter how you swear for somebody, it does not work. It does not work. All the swearers, no matter how you want to swear for somebody, you know they work. <laughs> Oh my god, I don't know. I'm enjoying myself this video. Anybody that does that, not enjoying themselves, that's their business. Anyway, it does not work. I'm telling you, okay? God chooses who to bless, and He's at liberty to choose who to bless. It doesn't matter if you are doing the same thing with the person, and you're like, why is that person getting all kind of success, and I'm doing the same thing, I'm not getting the success? <laughs> there must be something else the person is doing. It no concern you. It no concern you what the person is doing. So focus on what is, you know, keeping you happy. It is none of your business, okay? 
focus on the business that pays you and maybe you will get success in your own field okay let me even make it more relatable okay let's just say you are a youtuber and there's this other youtuber that you know you are, are posting the same content you know you are posting at the same time or every every week you know you are more you are as consistent or even more consistent than her you have more interesting content than her you have better quality videos you have better this better that everything about your own is better than her own but for some reason she's excelling more than you like what the hell what is going on what is going on it no concern you my dear sister focus on your focus <laughs> face your channel <laughs> face your channel stop beefing stop getting angry for other people's success okay focus on your own focus maybe success will come to you maybe the reason why you are still stuck behind because you are jealous and you are envious and because you are, you are angry for another person's success so if you are angry for another person's success why should you be successful god why, why do you want god to bless you when you're angry that his person others okay let's not bless you now. you know so the best thing for you is just focus on the business that pays you okay and maybe just maybe you might you might gain success i'm just saying i'm just saying the next one is because you are rich because you know you have money you have the wherewithal you have the social standing you decide to all your staff that's your gate man that is just opening and closing gate and you're paying 10k maybe 20k a month you decide to owe him because he cannot do anything about it that your house help in your house you decide to owe her you decide to maltreat her you decide to you know do things um, um, bad unjustly to her simply because you are untouchable okay you feel like i have the money so whenever i pay you it's fine that is actually a sign of witchcraft that is a sign that you are evil okay in case you don't know just know it right now that is a sign that you are evil or you borrow money from people and you're like whatever they cannot they can't do anything to me they can't carry me to court they cannot call police for me they cannot arrest me so i am going to pay them back whenever i want to pay them back and sometimes you don't even pay them back and you just allow them to you know get angry be sad and move on and you're like eh, we everybody we moved on now like, eh, eh, something like something something they worry you for head <laughs> something they worry you for head okay that is very 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 wrong like please try and pay people as as when you try and you know be nice to people around you try and Pay back money that you borrowed, okay? When you are borrowing the money, you are sounding nice, you are sounding happy, you are sounding cool, okay? Then when it's not time to pay back, you know, start sounding, you know, mean and getting upset that the person is asking for their money back. See me see wahala, okay? If you cannot give pay the money back, why did you borrow it in the first place? So please pay your debts and pay your 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 staff as at Wednesday, okay? Thank you. And then the ogbonge of witchcraft <laughs> is if you are a womb watcher. You know womb watchers are now? Ring and womb watchers. When are you getting married? Since I've known you, are you not going to 35? How come you have not yet married? Bring a man for us now. When are you married? And I'm talking about people who come from a bad place. The people who come from a good place, like your mother, your father, your sister, your brother. Some of them actually come from a good place. They're not, it's not necessarily all, but most times when your mom is asking you about such things, it's because she's genuinely worried about you. When they're asking you, she's genuinely worried about you. You know, your siblings, your friends, you know. I'm talking about all those people that they don't really care about you. They are just there for gist. They're just there for I'm a boss sick. They just want to have front row seats to, you know, to watch your life. That's just all they're there for. Then they're not asking you, when are you getting married? When are you having a child? What is happening now? Why are you doing Shakara? Why are you doing something? Same time, those kind of people there, you're actually doing the devil's work because you don't know the battles this person has been facing behind the scenes. You don't know how many times the person has cried to God, but the person has prayed to God, and the person is trying to move on and trying to have inner peace, and then you come from nowhere and come and add your 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 troublance. <laughs> into the person's life you come and add your turbulence into the person's life okay that is totally wrong please if you are not a close relative to somebody and you know so people go as far as commenting it on people's pages on the internet and i'm just like <sighs> i'm tired i'm tired human beings we need help okay we all need we all need help we all need the grace of god we all need god to intervene in our lives <laughs> okay so yeah let me know your thoughts in the comment section let me know what you think about everything that i said do you agree with me do you disagree with me if you agree with me why if you disagree with me why okay make sure you know what i'm talking about make sure you understand what i'm talking about before you disagree with me okay yeah thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you all in my next video bye guys mm -hmm.